Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You're watching Sarah Masters channel and you're watching Thinking Straight the series. This is episode two where we're talking about ways that our mind takes little shortcuts that make us think a little bit less logically. Um, and we already did episode one where you could check that out so you get an idea of what we're doing. And this is episode two. So to jump into uh, this episode's uh, concept, this episode's theme, uh, let me just tell you about a study that was done. So people, a lot of people were asked to talk about something they bad they did in their past and you know to talk about it and to tell the person what happened and this and I did this and that. So you can imagine when you're talking about something you did in the past, um, you would feel guilty, you'd feel bad about it. Everyone did that. Then after that, they, they recalled uh, the bad thing they'd done, half of them were offered if they wanted to wash their hands, okay? So half of the group washed their hands. The other half, they were not offered to wash their hands. Now, after that, everyone was asked, look, there's quite a desperate graduate student. They're doing their dissertation. Would you mind doing a, a survey as a favor to them? Okay, what were the results? Those people that washed their hands only 41% said they would do that favor for the graduate student. Whereas those that hadn't washed their hands, 74%, 74%, nearly double, said that they would do that favor. This is priming. Priming uh, is when one stimulus affects another stimulus. One unrelated stimulus affects another unrelated one. So what is happening here in this example is that the people are, th there's a link in their mind subconsciously, there's a link between washing, okay, washing yourself, being pure and being kind of sinless or being forgiven. So those people that didn't wash their hands, they felt, they still felt guilty. So they felt, oh, I need to uh, pay it back. I need to do something good because of that bad thing I did in the past. Whereas those that washed their hands, they were primed into feeling more innocent, more cleaned of the sin, if you like. So this is what priming is. So the first uh, stimulus was that they were talking about something bad they did. They felt bad. Then the second stimulus, which is unrelated, is that they washed their hands. There's no real direct link between those two, but in our minds, it the link is there, it's caused. Okay, and subhanAllah, you know, you can think of how the Prophet ﷺ, he said, if you get angry, then make wudu um, and, and pray, etc. So that, could, that is a stimulus that affects uh, anger, right? So the, the, there is a link there. And, you know, obviously Allah knows us best. And, and if this is true, I mean, this is what the, the research suggests, it's, it's true. Um, you know, it shows how Allah knows us best. Now, how is this used, priming? Okay. Um, in fact, I'll just tell you another, just for fun, another study that was done where people were um, two groups of people. One was they were put in a room and they were shown pictures of something neutral, like um, landscape, environment outside, animals, whatever, random stuff, plants, neutral stuff. The other group were shown business environment stuff. Okay, uh, briefcases, people talking in suits, um, accounting sheets, whatever it is, right? They were shown business related stuff. Now, both of them were uh, asked to, you know, fill out some answers, okay, to interpret a scenario. They were shown a conversation and they were asked to inter interpret what's going on here. Those that were shown the business stuff, they always interpreted the situation as being more confrontational, more aggressive. Okay, whereas those which show neutral stuff, they were more like, oh, they're just talking, oh, they're just discussing. You see what I mean? So they were primed. Again, those pictures they were shown had no direct link with the conversation that they were witnessing, but it caused them to judge it in a different way. And there are so many other studies and other you know, scenarios where this happens. Um, so how is this implemented by people to make us think a certain way? The number one way is showing those pictures on the media, on TV, internet, whatever, showing pictures of people, Muslims, okay, uh, in a war scenario, showing war, showing killing, showing guns, showing tanks, showing planes, and you hear the word Muslim. 
okay? And the, the news is taken over by these two things. And if you think about it, it's separate, okay? A lot of the Muslim world is living in peace, walillah alhamd. But this, this putting these two stimuli together causes the average person who might not know Muslims to associate them, to associate them. So they're seeing on the news war, bombing, killing, seeing one thing, one stimulus. Second stimulus, they're hearing Muslim, Muslim, Islam, Muslim, Islamist group, etc. And so those two things, they have an effect on each other. Again, when people are talking about poverty, you know those charity, uh, charity adverts on TV, it's always showing African people usually, always showing at least African or brown people, right? Where there's plenty, there's plenty of poor people um, who have different color skin, but that again, that association is being made. No wonder people think Africa's all poor, or they think Africa's all one place, or they think Africa has no, you know, any kind of development. Okay, um, and, and the, the economies are not growing in African nations and stuff. So again, they're priming. Now, so we've discussed this, we know how it works. We see one thing, and then it makes us connect it to another, and then our perception of that second thing is affected. How can we overcome this? How can we fight back? How can we not be affected negatively? The truth is, I don't know anything other than to watch what you watch. Because as Prophet ﷺ said, some people, I'm paraphrasing, some people, the way they speak is like magic, okay? And you know, this could be applied as well to images we see on TV that has speech in the background. Um, and But those two things combined, they can really put us in a trance. They can really influence our worldview even. So I would just, again, I would really watch out for, for the news and uh, even films. They prime you into thinking certain ways, into having attitudes about certain things, whether it is an idea, like a concept, like marriage, or like family, or like work. All these things, your idea of them, your perception of them, can be changed through film, through storytelling, okay? So watch out what you watch, and always keep this in mind. Now that you know it, you can see what is being done to you when, when you do watch the news. I mean, I personally, I avoid watching the news. What's important, I find out about, and uh, I see tweets here and there. Uh, but I try not to put myself in a position where I could be manipulated. So again, uh, this is Thinking Straight Episode 2. Look out for Episode 3 and of course, subscribe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.